Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Wednesday, your hump day. Uh, what is it? November 6th, 2019, right? Hold on, wait, wait. It is the 6th, isn't it? Yes, it's the 6th. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, this is a general reading. Yeah, this is not specific to anything, love, career, whatnot, whatever. This is just, you know, whatever spirit wants to discuss with us. Um, two things before I start, I want to say. First is that we do have happy hour tonight. So if you would like to get on the list, uh, the floor is now open. Um, single question readings are $25. You can send payment to paypal.me slash divine conversations. Please make sure to put your question in the notes section of your payment yes uh happy hour kicks off at 6 p.m eastern standard time here on youtube yeah Duh. and if you can make sure to um make sure to check out to join us for the pre-game party or the pre-game show on instagram yeah i'm gonna go live and do a little energy check-in for the collective and then i'm gonna come here to youtube and I'm going to uh, get started with the personal readings, yeah? Okay. Other thing that I want to mention, just a heads up, I am having an allergy flare-up today. Don't really know why. It's coming out of nowhere. I did some pretty heavy cleaning yesterday in my apartment. Um, and I kicked up a lot of dust, but, you know, that affected me for, like, you know, a good... 20 minutes while I was cleaning and then it was gone the rest of the day. Those of you that, you know, saw me later on in the day, I wasn't having an allergy attack, but now I am. <laughs> so if you're triggered by my allergy symptoms, you might just want to leave now. With that said, I have to pause because now I have to blow my nose. I am so sorry, you guys. <sighs> Life of a channeler, yeah? <laughs> Give me a second. Do -do. Boop. All right. And we're back. Yes. Okay. Um, I think that's it. So let's just get on with the reading. Yeah. So pre-shuffle energies right now. So we have the two of cups. We have the fool. We have the hermit here. And then we also have the devil with his back turned, which is fantastic. And... The Wheel of Fortune, but it's the side of the Wheel of Fortune where we have the Magician here. So this this side of the car really, to me, represents consciously co-creating with the universe or being aware of. Oh, okay, this is sp pretty specific, and actually, this um, definitely aligns with what this Devil card is representing here. So the Wheel of Fortune on this side is definitely speaking to certain is to somebody aware of their cycles or aware of these cycles of life of the universe or whatnot or, and are just like flowing with it maybe even doing doing things that they need to do in order to bring their manifestation into fruition in terms of the general cycles of the universe or energetic cycles whatnot whatever bear with me for a second i have to open my window a little because my sage is going a little crazy right now and it's getting hella smoky in my room. Um, but we do have a relationship that's coming together, it looks like, with the Two of Cups there, right? Um, however, I, what I'm getting with this is that it's not necessarily actively, like, I don't really feel like you two are actively really discussing anything. Um, but there is a definitely, there's definitely a conscious awareness of some sort of connection or at least some sort of feelings here with this Two of Cups, especially with it being a daytime scene of this Two of Cups, yeah, which to me represents, or also in this deck represents conscious awareness. You have the Fool and you have the Hermit. And with the Fool here, I, I, first of all, I feel like somebody is getting ready, is gearing up to take a leap of faith, but I also, I'm getting the feeling that this has to do with travel in some way. Um, you might be in a long distance connection, a long distance relationship, um, whatnot, whatever. The beauty of all of this is that the devil's back is turned. So 
I mean, I guess you could say, well, first of all, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Capricorn is the devil. Virgo is the hermit. Also, it doesn't have to be that way at all. Like, I don't even, honestly, I don't even think I want to continue calling out the signs because this is a general reading. It really doesn't matter what the signs are. Sorry, I'm just getting distracted watching all the sage smoke like billow out of my window right now. Okay, anyway, um, the beauty of this, of the fact that the devil's back is turned, is that um, it's either a situation in which the devil has chosen to turn his back because, you know, he knows that he has no power here, he has no control here, or you may have found a way to slip away from the devil's sight, the devil's grasp, and here the devil is representing some sort of car, uh, conformity, maybe forms of codependency. But the biggest thing that I'm getting here is fear. Fear and opposition. It's like that's not hindering you anymore or it's not hindering this person anymore. That's really, that's really quite wonderful. This is a beautiful energy here. Okay. That's cool. All right. So let's, uh, let's reset here. <clears throat> And let's see what else we get. Can you guys notice how smoky it is in my room right now? Because let me tell you, I lit this piece of sage here and it took off. <laughs> so anyway. All right, guys. Let me give this one last clearing shuffle and then we'll see what we've got. For the collective today. Oh, look, the sun and the moon. <laughs> okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, our hump day. <laughs> Wednesday, November 6th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Six shuffles. Oh my God. All right. Six shuffles this morning, kids. So bear with me. We've got one. For the collective, two. Three. For our Wednesday, November 6th, four. Okay, six shovels, six shuffles for the sixth. All right, all right, I get it. Five. That's gonna be pr pretty c problematic once we start reaching into like the tens and twenties, but you know what, it's fine, spirit, whatever. <laughs> and six. Okay, um, I think I think I want to close my window now. Don't mind that. Don't mind what's on the top of the deck because it's it's not part of the reading right now. Um, I just want to close the window because it's sufficiently cleared and things are probably just about to get really noisy out there in the world. So let's keep that away. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. For our Wednesday, what's going on today, Spirit? What do you want to discuss with us today, please, Spirit? For the collective, for the collective. We're going to do one more. Yeah, we're going to do one more pass. Um, that might be it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. One more pass, though. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, we've got a lot today. My eyes are closed. My eyes are closed, so I can't really see, but... Okay, now we're going to stop there. Wow. Whoa. 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 Oh, oh, oh. This, is, this is really interesting. Okay. Overall energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. With the Page of Cups. This is really interesting, you guys, because... And I'll tell you... I'll hold on. I'll explain in a second. Oh. Whoa, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, 
four of pentacles, wow, six of, uh, six of swords, eight of wands, and temperance. Oh, man. Okay, so this is really, really interesting because I pulled pre-shuffle energies. Um, I ended up pulling pre-shuffle energies twice because the first time it happened, the first time I did it, we got the Four of Pentacles, Temperance, the Nine of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands. Um... And some other cards that I don't remember. I don't remember what the overall energy was, but Temperance, the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, there was something else. Oh, the Page of Cups. That came out. Those were all reversed. King of Pentacles, King of Wands was upright, but the King of Pentacles had his back turned like this. And I was looking at it, I was like, I don't understand what this means. Like it just, I, I wasn't getting it. So I was like, okay, well, whatever. So I just put it back in um, and I shuffled again. And then we got the pre-shuffle that ended up on camera here. And now we have our message and we have some of the same cards coming out. King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Sat, uh, Temperance, Sagittarius. Okay, yes, Sagittarius is represented by the Temperance. Um, and the Page of Cups, which is here, right? But also, you have the counterpart to this King of Pentacles now. You do have the Queen of Pentacles, okay, as the overall energy. But now you also have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so what does all this mean? Oh my God, you guys, I'm so sorry, but I need to know... <sighs> I gotta close my blinds because now the sun's coming in and it's getting super hot and I love the sun, but it's just getting in the way. So, okay, what does all this mean, Eric? <laughs> You're rambling. All right. Um, first of all, with that Queen of Pentacles as the overall energy here, there is definitely an energy of someone being, I wanna say a wish come true, a dream come true. Okay. Maybe that's from the masculine end in, in terms of the counterpart here, right? Because we, we do have counterparts, the king and the queen of pentacles. Both are very focused on your own lives, your own well-being, your own stability right now. Which is a good thing. It's where you need to be focused right now. Um, overall energy, though, of the queen of pentacles with the page of cups. I'm getting an energy of needing to just stay true to your dreams. Stay true to what it is you, you wish to manifest. Because it really, it really looks like it's happening. We have this King of Pentacles here with the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. I really feel like the, the masculine here, this could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Gem uh, 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 Virgo, it doesn't have to be though. Um, I feel like this person that's represented by the King of Pentacles here is really focused on building some sort of nest egg or building some sort of foundation, okay, which is helping them to move forward you know, leave some, leave the past behind, leave some struggles behind. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to, trying to adjust my lighting situation here. That's gonna be in the shot, but you know what? It's fine, I don't really mind anymore. I just want the cards to be seen. Okay, um, it's gonna leave, it, it's helping somebody leave the past behind. Someone is really focused on rebuilding their foundation. And then we have the Queen of Swords, with the Eight of Wands and Temperance. All right, so I'm hearing communication is necessary here, but it's, it, it, ah, okay. But also, also, um, the Queen of Swords is representing the need to cut out some things that don't serve you, okay? Um, especially with this side of Temperance that came out. Um, this side of temperance, you have the lion and you have this bird. Um, the lion represents e pride. Yeah, it can represent ego, but it represents what you're passionate about. The bird represents your knowledge, your wisdom, your understanding, and what it is you've come to learn. And then you have the gallows here, which is where the hanged man hangs himself from. And this side of temperance asks you not to compromise, not to give in to any sort of social pressure, not to give up your point of view for the sake of conforming in some way. 
And the Queen of Swords is standing there kind of uh, uh, reiterating that, saying, look, it's time to cut out any sort of doubt, disbelief, anything that's not serving you, anything that is not in alignment with, you know, maybe even what your intuition is telling you. Or it also could be what it is you've learned about the nature of the universe and how the universe works and how infinite it is and how anything is really anything is possible okay you have the eight of wands here the air this is this is like reassurance i feel like this might be reassurance for the masculine energy because the feminine here is is staying in her nurturing energy staying in her wisdom and staying focused on her dreams what it is she chooses she wishes to manifest in her life and i do feel like that is calling in a counterpart in someone that repre is represented by the king of pentacles all right um, and what you're needing to do is stay true to yourself, try, stay true to your belief in how the universe works and all that. I'm getting a strong energy from the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords that this King of Pentacles here is really focused, really, really focused on building a foundation so that he or she can move forward. We're talking, gen oh, we're not talking gender here, we're talking energy, okay? That is a standard on my channel. Um, we don't, I mean, if gen gender really is, has nothing to do with it, guys, okay? We are gender fluid here. We're just talking, we're reading the energies, okay? But with that said, there is, a, there is a bit of a form, there is a little bit of traditional thinking here in terms of the masculine wanting to be a provider in some way. But again, it doesn't have to be gender, okay? You could be a woman that is more in the masculine energy and be, you, you know, aligning with a counterpart that is a man that is more in the feminine energy, okay? Um... But the masculine here definitely is like definitely wants to build a nest egg. So in order to move forward, because I'm what I'm getting with the six of swords here is there's a little bit of a um, a destitute like situation that you might be building yourself out of, pulling yourself out of, working your way out of that. Um, you might have recently claimed some sort of independence and are kind of having to start from the ground up. Okay, but this is actually really, really excellent for whomever this King of Pentacles is because you are now building the foundation that is completely right for you. That is actually going to help you align with this Queen of Pentacles energy. It's interesting because I feel like you two might be manifesting each other into each other's lives from different points of view. You might be aware of each other at this point. Who knows? This is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. But... Um, also, this right here, Queen of Swords, Temperance, and the Eight of Wands, it is advice for both people to understand that anything is possible and you need to really just, Queen of Swords, anything that gets in the way of that because you already understand this. You've already achieved the change in perspective that is necessary. You've already achieved a certain element of level of balance that is allowing you to even be in this position to begin with and now this card is coming out this angel is kind of reminding you hey listen don't forget what you've learned okay don't don't i just heard don't let your pride and your ego stop you okay yeah all right okay <laughs> The sun is peeking through this one spot in my blinds and it's like blinding me every five, every so often. But you know what? It's fine. I'm just going to deal with it. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to, um, I want to get some clarifying going on these energies here. I want to see it look a little bit deeper. Um, for this king of pentacles here for this masculine energy i want to look a little deeper into this for you and um see if we can get you any clarity on how you're progressing right now uh, i feel like that would be really helpful for you right now maybe some reassurance potentially some reassurance that you're on the right track even though i think you know you are
Okay, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle. Okay, let's see what we have here, kids. So, for this King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, <laughs> King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, uh, Six of Swords. Well, already the Hermit has caught my eye. Um, you really need to be following your own intuition and your own light, your own desire, what your heart is saying, what your light is guiding you towards, what your inner sense of, your inner compass is guiding you towards. You really need to be following that more than ever right now. You're already kind of doing this, um, but I feel like some of you are, are looking for some sort of reassurance that you are on the right tr track and you absolutely are. Um, and it's very interesting because in this deck, this is the vice versa deck right here, right? In this deck, this King of Pentacles is described as not, he's not, he's someone that doesn't, isn't necessarily going within, doesn't really feel like he needs to go within, doesn't really feel like he needs to discover any more about himself. Um, excuse me, but then we had the Hermit here, which talks about going within, but what I'm, what I'm picking up on here is that you've already been through the process of rediscovering yourself in a pretty big way. And now you're in, you're sitting in this, you're sitting pretty in this King of Pentacles energy, well manifested to the point where now you can really start to build your life over, but in a much more positive, much more beneficial way for you, but not only just for you, for your partner, your potential partner, for your counterpart, and maybe for, I'm hearing for your children, for like your future children, your future family, and those you come in contact with that you positively influence. And you're doing this right now just by being in, you're in positively influencing people right now just by being in this state, okay? But there's more to come, especially once you align with and come together with a certain, like a counterpart in this Queen of Pentacles up here, okay? You both are manifesting this in your own way, um, on your own respective sides. And it's like you're aligning with each other. This is really beautiful. But let's get a little more clarity here for you for this King of Pentacles energy here. Mm -mm. Oops. Okay. There you go. There you go. See, look, I told you you're working on building an est a nest egg, y'all. You've got that four of pentacles with the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Good golly, look at you. You are all about all about them Benjamins, baby. Like, look. <laughs> this is a good thing. Overall energy, you the hermit again. Yo. Ooh, sorry. You can't make this shit up, guys. Very focused on the pentacles right now. However, you are absolutely focused on building your, your number one. I told you, look, you are in this nine of pentacles energy. You are in this space of independence. Overall energy is the hermit. I really do feel like you've come out of recently. You've come out of a hermit stage. We're talking to this king of pentacles here. You've come out of a hermit stage in which you learned a hell of a lot about yourself. You've developed way more confidence in who you are, in the in your being, in your your ability to to manifest in the world. And you've come out much wiser with an understanding that you do that you 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 are building a new foundation here. And it all has to do in terms of legacy, family, material. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. You know, I am feeling inspired to do something because we're looking at the King of Pentacles here. I want to look at what the Queen of Pentacles energy is. Let's do that. Let's do that. So, okay, that's the king right there. Let's look at the queen. The queen, pen, the queen of pentacles is the overall energy. And what I want to say is she's kind of the focus. It's almost as if, it's almost as if this king of pentacles is focused on aligning with the queen. 
because the queen has somewhat already established. Let's look. Let's see. Let's let's see. What is this queen of pentacles energy here? What's her reality? What's going on with her? Let's clarify her reality for a little bit. This queen of pentacles. Three of wands. Interesting. The, queen, the three of wands did come out and it fell in reverse here. But we have another card. Oh. Ten of wands. Okay. Ooh. Ten of swords. Whoa. All right. With. Oh, shit. The King of Swords in reverse. Wow. So this Queen of Pentacles energy, in the sense that she's focused on her dreams, what it is she truly desires, she is, oh shit, she is dropping some serious burdens. Dropping some serious burdens. Um, so overall energy for this queen of pentacles is the ten of swords okay and um you also she also has the the ten of wands there are a lot of tens here between the two of you between these two counterparts and it's very interesting that i was picking up that the king of pentacles here this individual is working on aligning with the queen of pentacles because the queen of pentacles is officially putting down the burdens of some sort of individual um i want to say from the past I, I, what I, and that individual is a masculine counterpart but it's the king of swords someone that was overly critical maybe pretty controlling judgmental uh was didn't speak the truth didn't act in a fair way was dishonest obviously, if they're not speaking the truth. Maybe was hiding something. But it's almost like there's an end of a contract here with the Three of Wands in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. Like, it, there's, a, there's a path that has been rejected here. Maybe I just heard for spiteful reasons. But it's not spite. It's really not spite. I don't really get it that it's spiteful because of this Ten of Swords here. It was a painful situation. It was something that, that just was not working, that was not aligning correctly for whatever reason. I'm not trying to sit here and pass blame, pass judgment, okay? Um, for whatever reason, it just was not aligning correctly. And this Queen of Pentacles decided to lay down the burdens to say, you know what? I'm not going to fight for this anymore, especially if you're not going to be honest with me. If you're not if you're not going to be fair and just and you're not going to handle the situation as you know it needs to be, I'm not going to do this anymore. Period. I'm just not doing it. So now you might have that same person that's trying to like play catch up and align with the Queen of Pentacles now, but I don't think I I I I really really feel like this is a new person. I really feel like this is a new person here. And ironically enough, now you have the Queen of Swords here. You have, you, we have two forms of counterparts. We have the King and the Queen of Swords here. The King, however, is, is the King of Swords is something that's being left behind, rejected. The burden is being placed down. You're not carrying that, that weight on your shoulders any longer. That's the current energetic state of this Queen of Pentacles here. All right, okay, so now, now I wanna clarify this Queen of Swords, Temperance, and Eight of Wands energy. So first of all, obviously, this Queen of Swords definitely does have something to say to the Queen of Pentacles because it's like, look, girl, look, look honey, sis, don't you dare forget what you have learned here. Don't you dare forget what you have learned. And don't you dare, don't you dare, <laughs> compromise for the sake of societal pressure especially for those of us that are on a twin flame journey if 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 and and i'm not i'm not i'm not throwing shade at anybody uh, in no way do i believe that we have any sort of expert on the twin flame situation even if you are a, if you are like, because there are a number of couples out there 
on YouTube here that are sharing their message and are helping people come together, okay? But I personally do not think that there are any experts here, no matter what you may feel, think, or say, okay? And mainly because everybody's situation is unique. Everyone. No matter what. But... And I feel like this is specifically for some people who have been who have been struggling with, do I leave my divine masculine behind? Here's the thing. Yes, there is such a thing as free will. Yes, there is such a thing as destiny. However, you are not meant to wait around for anybody to get their act together. What is more important is that you align with your higher self and you align with that which you truly desire to have in this lifetime, to manifest in this life. And for many of us, that is a counterpart, a partner, a king to match our queen, correct? Okay, so let the universe handle that. Don't worry about the specifics. If it ends up being a completely different person that is aligning with you in this, other than the person that you may have originally thought it was going to be, then so be it. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But no one, no one here is asking you to accept someone that is not willing to provide you with what it is you know you want or you know you deserve. Especially not someone that is going to lie to you, cheat, on you if that's a concern I mean and I say that because there are polyamory is a thing okay and it's not anything to be ashamed of so if cheating is a concern for you if this if this is not someone that you want to be aligning with if they're going to lie to you cheat cheat on you I hear I want to I, I also want to say steal from you that king, I would not put it past that king of swords in reverse to steal okay He's a shady character to begin with when he's in reverse, so. And that's why this Queen of Swords energy is coming through saying, mm -mm -mm. you just cut that right on out, honey. You just cut that right on out. No ifs, ands, or buts are about it. There is no need for a discussion. And now this King of Pentacles here that is aligning with the Queen of Pentacles, the advice for the Queen of Pen from the Queen of Swords is do not allow the devil to creep back into your head and, 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 and scare you away from what it is you know you're working on building here. All right. So with all of that said, um, I want to clarify this Eight of Wands, Queen of Swords, oh shit, and Temperance. And I want to use the Golden Universal Tarot. I want to use, I want to get Spirit's take on these energies. But look at what's on the bottom of the deck. The Four of Pentacles. Building that nest egg. Nest egg. Um, holding, and, and normally the Four of Pentacles typically refers to a hoarding type energy. Needing to let go of something. But here in this reading, it resonates as holding on to your foundation. You have the Four of Pentacles that have showed up three times here. I wonder if it's going to come out again. And keep in mind, the Four of Pentacles came out in the pre-pre-shuffle energy that I didn't end up using because I didn't understand what it was trying to say. That's a four, 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 four. Four, four times. <laughs> there, I mean, there is a very strong, very, very strong resonance from spirit from the universe right now saying hold on to your foundation you have come very very far and your rewards are right just around the corner okay what i do also want to say is this king of pentacles is an individual that is in an energy of having successfully liberated themselves successfully freed themselves successfully found independence autonomy, authenticity, and sovereignty. Congratulations. I will drink to that. Yo, cheers to you, masculine. Cause let me tell you, that shit ain't easy. <laughs> that shit ain't easy. All right, so spirits take Eight of Wands, Queen of Swords, Temperance. 
I just heard judgment and the high priestess. Judgment and the high priestess would mean um, rising above and yeah, there are some secrets, but I feel like you, a lot of secrets uh, have been revealed to you from this through this high priestess energy. All right, so let's give it one last shuffle. Okay, so what is this spirit? What advice do you have for us? How would you like to define or clarify this for us here? Please spirit, eight of wands, queen of swords, temperance. Hey now, hey now, <laughs> you got the Ace of Wands with the sun and the sun fell out. This, uh, this is m uh, mainly for the masculine, I guess. The sun fell out on the masculine stuff. Overall energy of the fool, you guys. Oh my God, yes. Look, for both of you, but okay, for, they're saying for the masculine, the masculine counterpart, this King of Pentacles, specifically again we are not talking gender we are talking energy yes the masculine counterpart in this situation that is aligning with this queen of pentacles move forward with your inspiration move forward with your inspired ideas you got this you got this okay you got this <laughs> I, I wish you guys could see the shit-eating grin on my face right now. <laughs> just because this just feels so beautiful and so positive. Like, I can't help but just smile. The reassurance is quite clear here, guys. All right, masculine. So, all right, for both of you. Both of you need to stand your ground. Both of you need to continue on your path of righteousness is what I want to say. Like, I want to keep pulling cards, but it's not necessary. Spirit has spoken. So good. That's great. Let's get your closing message. Your oracle guidance is what? The dragons. Okay. Alrighty, kids. Your oracle guidance for this Wednesday, hump day, November 6th, 2019. Let's give this one more shuffle. All right, let's see what we've got. Do, 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 do. Ooh, silver dragon illuminates your potential with higher light. Access untapped resources. Look into your soul. See higher possibilities. All right, guys. All right, y'all. Silver dragon is a fifth dimensional dragon. Excellent. Page 56, five and six boils down to an 11. A boop. <laughs> okay. Fifth dimensional shimmering silver dragons radiate divine feminine light and gentle qualities. They exude harmlessness, love, peace, tranquility, balance, gentleness, and calmness. If we are ready, they surround our aura with a soft, pure silver light that enables us to retain these divine feminine qualities. They also reflect our true self and highest potential back to us by coming to us and looking deep into our eyes. This enables us to see the essence of our soul and discover aspects of our divine magnificence and make cat. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm, I, I to I'm sorry. I'm going to start that over. They also reflect our true self and highest potential back to us by coming to us and looking deep into our eyes. This enables us to see the essence of our soul and discover aspects of ourselves we did not know existed. We are reminded of our divine magnificence and may catch a glimpse of the mighty soul or even monad, I am presence to which we belong. Your guidance here says, your fifth dimensional soul blueprint contains the keys and codes of your gifts, talents, wisdom, and powers. Much of this is locked away and unused. Excuse me, I'm gonna cough. 
Receiving this card suggests that it is time for some of this potential to be ignited and brought forward into your life. You are ready to reveal yourself and be who you truly can be. Sit quietly and see or sense the shimmering silver dragon who has come to you. Allow it to reflect back to you the hidden aspects of your soul and your higher possibilities. This may or may not be a conscious process, but it will surprise you to express, I'm sorry, but it will inspire you to express your essence and transform your life. Be ready to develop any gifts or qualities that the dragon draws to your attention. You may surprise yourself. There goes, there goes Archangel Michael uh, with the masculine, right? And then the silver dragon represents the feminine. Mm -hmm. Masculine to the rescue, I see. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Anyway, there it is, you guys. I hope you, that was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I look forward to seeing you guys later on for uh, happy hour and also our pre-game show on Instagram. But if I don't see you then, then I look forward to seeing you for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.